Welcome everyone, how are you doing? We're on June 1959. Um, it's a very basic issue for this month. There's um, not a whole lot in here and the layout is slightly different as well. It's just the way the magazine has been scanned in, but we're on a kind of landscape view now. So we'll skip through some of these initial bits, the playbill. Actually having the layout like this, um, I think gives you a better overall feel for the magazine, uh, the way it looks and how it's presented and you get to see more of the um, sort of content of the adverts and just how much space it takes up, etc. Um, but yeah, we've got some new adverts, the BMW 600 two-door, uh, which is that one that folds out of the front with the steering wheel. Uh, I've seen it on some car shows before, but never really knew it was um, around at this time. Uh, Playboy After Hours, Crew Cut, uh, all these hairdressing um, sort of ointments and everything else. Max Factor as a name that you'll know, or certainly we know in the UK here. I assume it's still big in the US as well. Um, so we'll skip through to the first um, article. And this is fiction by Harvey Jacobs, uh, The Voyage of the Peanut. Um, so as you would expect the voyage of the peanut if you read the article uh, it might be a little bit smaller this month because it is on a landscape but you might be able to zoom in on that this cartoon here I wasn't too sure about but it says uh, a result I imagine all of the um, damned increased respect for scientists hang on a result I imagine of all the damned increased respect for scientists that's going around and I'm not sure why this scientist would be getting respect and I'm thinking possibly this is something to do with birth control perhaps i i'm not too sure perhaps if you know you can let me know as far as i'm aware birth control was um sort of late 60s um 1960 i think in fact but i'd have to check that but i can only assume it's something to do with that uh veni video vespa and this is about the, the vespa craze that's going around and of course playboy has to have uh, a little bit of um nudity in it as well so yeah this is obviously a big thing and this is kind of something that's um quite uh, sort of popular in, in London in the 1960s so scooters start coming through and you, they, I think you get like the mods and the rockers and all that kind of thing as well which uh, I think went through to the sort of 80s I believe I may be wrong on that but I sort of remember it being that early um, the origins of the uh, beat generation by Jack Kurak and we have this cartoon here do you allow children again this is one by Eric Sokol which I don't really understand um I'm not too sure what this sort of means. Um, I assume it's maybe because she's pregnant. I don't know. But perhaps you do. Uh, Roger Sklar, uh, who was that lady? And then we have some more attire by Robert L. Green, who you remember uh, was an editor, I think, for, um, I believe, New York Times. Uh, you may have to um, just uh, check that for me. Uh, but some nice suits here. Reminds me of James Bond, this one here. The Wise Guy. Uh, this is by Ken Purdy, and then we have uh, Gay and Wilson's usual cartoons here. Um, and then we have the Playmate of the Month, which is obviously much longer than usual. Um, so this is uh, a lady called uh, Marilyn Hanold, uh, and this is she's in, in, actually in an act, I believe, in a show. Uh, if you read through here, um, she has like a stage name, etc. But yeah, she features uh, in the in the uh, sort of centerfold this month but it's not a, a full nude as we've seen previously and in the last magazine if you remember i sort of talked a little bit about how the magazine had kind of toned down the nudity i'm not sure the reason for that i don't know if they were getting a lot of uh, pushback at the time perhaps because of the court uh, proceedings they had had previously with elizabeth ann rogers when she was underage and they've had a 17 year old in the magazine as well if you remember so i, I think it might be a bit of a pushback from that but things do explode going into 1960s as you'll see uh, John Atherton, uh, Waste Not, Want Not. Uh, Beer and Skittles, Food and Drink. This is by Thomas Mario, who's been going for a very long time in the magazine now. Uh, this is Oriental Sex on Broadway, Oriental Sex in Las Vegas as well. And this is about the Oriental, Oriental style of shows with sexual content, um, not porn, but just sexual, um, sort of taking over um, certain parts of the showbiz industry. And it's obviously very popular and it's all about, like as you see here, the sailors going overseas, you know, in like Japan and etc. that kind of thing. So you start to see these uh, shows coming through and they're obviously still popular today. Uh, you have these kind of Oriental style shows uh, that go on. Um, so we have the Ribold Classics, some more cartoons. I have a little bit more attire as well by Blake Rutherford. Uh, an article by Alan Holmes, The Man Act. Um, there's not a whole lot in this magazine, to be honest. It hasn't got the greatest cartoons. The plain, I think the centerfold isn't great. 
there's not much in here um i think for this uh, june issue that we're on but you know it's uh you can't expect a good one every single month but there's some uh, information here for the playboy jazz festival which is interesting i mean i've always wanted to go to the playboy jazz festival but obviously we don't have it here in the uk um and i certainly won't be going this year um because of various things not to mention uh, covid but um i think it's a a worthwhile thing um that they did um i think with the, the after dark uh tv show and i think the playboy jazz festival is two of the biggest things that they did and i hope those well i hope the playboy jazz festival does continue i don't know which way it'll go with the magazine i don't know how what their plans are for the future with that but that's something that's worth um carrying through it always had very big names there um you know very big events so as you can see, you can actually see the amount of adverts more when it's done as a landscape, like just the amount that's in there. The, the money they must have been making from this must have been insane. But that's it for this month. Uh, I will head off to read the next one. I hope you have uh, a good rest of the week and I'll see you probably on Saturday evening. I'll see you then.